Hog FPV, I have one of the first batch Tiny Hawks, and one of the issues it has that's pretty annoying, if it gets below 3.3 volts, uh, the flight controller, I'm assuming it's the IMU, isn't getting enough voltage, so it starts uh, uh, basically the flight characteristics. It's kind of like uh, a lawnmower running out of fuel. It kind of sputters as it's coming in, which is uh, something that uh, is undesirable. I know the later uh, versions, like I think the second batch and the third batch, um, has the fix, which is, I'm sure everybody's aware of, is to take a 10 microfarad capacitor and um, soldering it between ground and the 3.3 volt pad. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do because uh, it uh, was getting to the point where it was uh, uh, annoying. So what you're gonna need to do this and uh, what I'm gonna be using is I recommend you know some helping hand here. Uh, these are fairly cheap to get. You're going to need to get uh, 0805 ceramic uh, capacitors. Uh, you can get those on Amazon. I'll go ahead and I actually have a kit that I bought a while ago that uh, comes with a bunch of different values. So I'll link that below. Uh, you're going to need a fine tip screwdriver, some Q-tips, some iso isopropyl alcohol, uh, a tweezer, uh, you know, ones that are kind of shaped like this really work well for this because the surface mount part is pretty pretty tiny. You're going to need some rosin core solder 6040. Then what you're going to need is, uh, I recommend a really fine tipped soldering iron. And you want to make sure that that's tinned up and, and shiny. So that's about all you're going to need for this. So the plan here is to remove the, the four screws on the battery holder, move it to the side, and then uh, go ahead and uh, solder the surface mount capacitor in place. So I'll go ahead and uh, pull that off and show you what the pads look like. So as you can see, I removed the little rubber grommet reason why I did that, I didn't want to, it's pretty close to the 3.3 volt pad here. And obviously we don't want to melt that with the soldering iron. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, just tin up one side and not the other. You don't want to tin both pads because if you do, when you try and solder on one end of the surface mount capacitor, um, if the other side's pre-tinned, uh, it's going to be, you know, cockeyed in there. So what you want to do is solder, put uh, tin one pad first, and then what I'm going to do is um, place the surface mount cap on the pad that has the tin on it, and then just lightly solder it real quickly. So as you can see, um, I tinned the 3.3 volt side of this pad to start with. And then the next thing I'm gonna do um, is to use my tweezers and basically hold the capacitor in place and then just solder one side. Uh, then you would solder the other side. Uh, it's hard for me to hold the, the camera and do that at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do that right now and I'll show you what it looks like after I get it. So this is what it looks like after you've soldered the capacitor in place. And again, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to want to tin one side. You're gonna hold the capacitor in place with your tweezers and then just lightly touch the soldering iron uh, to the pad. And then it will flow from the pad, the solder will flow from the pad to the capacitor terminal. Uh, what helps is just to have a small smidgen of solder on the tip. You just wanna add a small little bit of, of solder to the end of the tip of the soldering iron and that helps it to flow a little easier. Then after it cools you act like you're just going to be tinning the opposite pad and you just uh, um, you know hold your soldering iron lightly against the pad and the other opposite end of the capacitor. So because you soldered the other side it's going to hold the capacitor in place and then the solder will just flow from the pad up onto the capacitor, ceramic capacitor lead. And then after that, just let it cool. Uh, use some isopropyl alcohol 
and a Q-tip just to clean things up. And uh, what I did next is visually inspect to make sure there's no short between the, the uh, ground and 3.3 volt line. If you have an ohmmeter, um, you could go ahead and measure the resistance across that as well. I visually inspected it. Um, I have a loop and didn't see any bridging there, so I think I'm good to go. With that, I'm gonna go ahead and button this thing up, and thanks for watching.